Hello, my name is Florian Bauer. I'm working for the Semantic Web Combi. And today I would like to talk a little bit about the concept of semantic data fabric. What I'd like to show you today um, is a bit about the essentials of semantic data fabric and also a demo that uh, data.world and pool party have put together in a joint effort. So let's start with why do we need this? Why should you care about a semantic data fabric? Well, you know, IT systems are getting more and more complex. The data volume is growing. And at the same time, uh, we're facing a much increased demand of simpler, faster data for decision-making uh, processes. And we want to start creating these kind of insights that we need for this decision-making, if possible, automatically. So here comes the semantic data fabric in place. The essential of uh, semantic data fabric is that it's always built on existing investments uh, in data infrastructure. It can leverage the existing data assets uh, like data warehouses and data lakes that your organization has already built. It starts by cataloging your data assets, making an inventory of the metadata that describes the data and making the catalog available to the whole organization. The data warehouse and data lake is uh, very important here because we need a place to store our data, to govern it, to run our jobs and so on. This data catalog is then the jumping off point for providing access to the data resources. But from here, you can start to harvest the knowledge of your organization. What is contained within data sets in a catalog? What do they mean? How they are connected and so on. This is where the semantics of the semantic data fabric come into play. It's about capturing organization knowledge in a structured fashion with linked data, which is actually an essential piece uh, of the semantic data fabric concept. This semantic layer is formed from a so-called enterprise knowledge graph, uh, which creates a uniform and unified data environment. And it powers and is powered by machine learning and artificial intelligence. So let's get back to this concept of semantic data fabric. If you think of a semantic data fabric a bit, uh, a bit as data catalog meets semantics, then certain themes start to arise. It's all about discovery, sharing and finding all sorts of metadata and data they describe and doing so based on a semantic model that uh, refer to real world entities and relationships of the data, not solely based on uh, the physical location and the layout of the data. You can start leveraging natural language techniques to process unstructured data and synthesize it uh, with structured data sources. The knowledge that you capture is actually starting to be linked together in a knowledge graph allowing you to perform analytics over the metadata directly. And of course, machine learning can be employed to automate or enhance data integration on top of the strong foundation of the semantic models and a structured metadata catalog. So let's go through this step by step because it explains very nicely on the, what different components the semantic data fabric is built on. All of it starts, as we said, with the foundation you have already built. A data fabric is never a greenfield type of deployment. It's essentially always deployed into an active and heavily populated data environment. The pattern is actually designed to be something that can be integrated into an existing environment and catalog and connect of what's already in, existing, in existence. Uh, this can include data sources, such as data warehouses and data lakes, as mentioned before, web services and APIs, file shares, uh, knowledge bases, um, and analytics and data visualization platforms. The assets to be cataloged here are tables and columns, the files, the notebooks, dashboards, and data dictionaries, business glossaries, and taxonomies that are represented in those systems. It's really important to note that data and the analysis are critical to catalog and to understand. The dashboards and queries and other bits of existing analysis often contain the most important knowledge about what the data means, how it's been used in the past, and how it might be leveraged in the future. There are several components that an active data catalog building toward a semantic data fabric on top of that uh, foundation uh, on top of that data foundation will bring. So catalog agents automate the process of extracting metadata from various systems and collect, collating them into a data catalog. Data can be integrated in the data catalog via ETL processes. Data can also be integrated in a virtualized fashion where the data stays in place with the existing data systems, uh, but is managed as if it would be directly integrated into the data catalog. The key of all of this is semantics. You want to integrate the data into a fabric 
based on what the data actually means, what it means in terms of real world relationships, not just based on the technology choices made about how to store the data and manage the data. And to do that, the system needs one important, very important component that both data.world and pool party are actually built upon. This is the uh, so-called knowledge graph. So here we come back to the centerpiece of the semantic data fabric. As er uh, already said earlier, this is the part that allows you to bring in your domain knowledge, to link your data assets, and to enrich it with semantic context. And of to on top of that, a semantic middleware such as pool party semantic suite uh, will allow you to enrich your data through semantic standards. Just to name some examples, you can use artificial intelligence uh, and machine learning to achieve uh, active metadata management. And of course, you can use natural language processing and deep text analytics, for example, to process also your unstructured data and bring them back into context with your structured data. And finally, what you obviously need is an efficient data delivery and data integration component to make all this enriched data available to users and other applications. This is what smart data catalogs such as data.world can provide as part of a semantic data fabric. This component ensures that you have efficient ways to present your enriched content to the users. Here we talk about powerful search, user-friendly browsing and so on, but also to other systems via APIs and web webhooks. But now it's time to show you a short demo on a semantic data fabric. Uh, data.world and pool party put that together to demonstrate on how this could look like. Um, the use case for this demo is a real world business case that we hear regularly from our customers and partners. It's about semantic matchmaking. The business case here is consulting companies always want to quickly find the best consultant to be assigned to a new project. And that assignment should be done based on skills and expertise matching to the new project. The challenge they regularly face is the data is held in various places, in different data silos, and in various structured and unstructured formats. And very often the matching is not, not done based on data, but is done based on personal preference. So here comes the solution. We're using the semantic data fabric approach here to access data, enrich it based on semantic context, and use enriched data for a semantic AI application that I will show you in a second. Let's take this step by step. What we have is we have data from various different sources. We have uh, CVs, uh, unstructured format PDFs. We have timesheets, structured format in uh, CSV tables. We have project descriptions coming from a linked data source uh, and are also unstructured text. What we do in this demo, we use the combined strength of a data catalog, uh, data.world, and pool party as a semantic middleware to access the data in an augmented data catalog, to ensure that we have efficient data delivery and data, dynamic data integration capabilities to, on the one hand side, access the data, but also to deliver it. We use tools and features to utilize the semantics based on a knowledge graph. There is a skills uh, taxonomy built in pool party, which will be the form the basis of that knowledge graph. And we use natural language processing to process all the unstructured data that we have in this example. This all leads into a semantic data fabric powered application that allows us to do the matchmaking we need. So let me show you this very quickly. Um, so what you see here is a demo uh, called the semantic matchmaker demo. First, you see there is a lot of different projects already uh, in that system. They are coming from an open data source. Um, we used a linked open, uh, an open data source from the European Union of uh, project descriptions. We can access them easily. They are accessed via the data catalog in data.world. And what you see is there is a project description. That project description is unstructured text. It's just a text field um, that is describing the project. What we now can do is we can leverage the semantic capabilities of the semantic middleware, pool party, to create a so-called semantic footprint. So based on a taxonomy, which contains over 21,000 concepts of skills, topics, and occupations, and was built on an already pre-existing um, classification scheme, based on this taxonomy, we're creating a semantic footprint of that project. That means that project 
obviously is related to those kind of skills and occupations. In the next step, we can easily match that with the consultants. The consultants are not in a database or some, somewhere like this. They are just uh, CVs that were uh, accessed, through, accessed through the data catalog. Uh, and we had some uh, timesheet assignments in terms of capturing previous experience of those consultants. So what we see here is that um, we have a consultant called Louis Day with um, an extract from the resume, from the CV file about uh, their skills. Again, we are using uh, the semantic middleware pool party to extract the semantic footprint based on that uh, skills tax taxonomy. And the system now can immediately match those uh, consultants to the project based on matches of one semantic footprint to another. But here comes the interesting bit. We now can enrich that footprint by using the knowledge that is captured in the knowledge graph. So it's not just about providing a list with the best one-to-one -one matches. But now we can also take all the knowledge into consideration that is captured in the knowledge graph by using information such as um, the broad or narrower relations, such as relationships that are modeled in an ontology and so on. So we get a much more accurate, um, immediate matchmaking between those uh, projects and consultants. And as a next step, we can also consider uh, structured data. So we had some time sheets, uh, time assignments of those uh, consultants to previous projects. We can take this into consideration to ensure that the pro uh, consultants with the best um, uh, experience are actually scored highest. And this is a very nice uh, uh, example of how a data semantic data fabric can actually be a very agile and fast way to match data and uh, to bring insights and to show your insights. So if you're interested in a semantic data fabric solution, please get in touch with us. Um, as I said, this is a cooperation between data.world and pool party. Um, we've written a white paper, uh, which you can access for free here. Uh, there is a whole webinar series with four webinars about that topic which is also available on demand. And we would uh, love if you get uh, in touch with us, please contact us. We would be happy to give you a guided uh, personalized demo and talk about your needs in more detail. Thank you very much. I hope you learned something today uh, and I'm looking forward to talking to you.